is a code in the Torah, the first five books of the Old Testament. The code is real and mathematically provable. The Torah is over 3,300 years old, but seems to be filled with information about what is happening today, as well as mysterious repeating codes that support the biblical narrative itself. The codes now seem to be revealing hidden facts about stories within the Torah. It's like the book is coming alive. We found information about our current world, people, places, and events. Iran and Hamas, the 4,000 rockets that recently pounded Israel's border towns as we investigate just what it's like to be near the Gaza Strip when rockets fall. In New York and Israel, we'll interview the world experts on the codes. Professor Robert Haralik, Rabbi Glazerson, Art Levitt, Dr. Alex Rotenberg, and Professor Eliyahu Rips, who spearheaded the Bible code since the late 70s. Have the codes been locked away until this generation in what many believe are the end of days? So in the, in the book of Daniel, it, it says, and we actually put that in the Torah code into darkness film, it says, shut up the words and seal the book until the time of the end. And you were showing me something that seemed to refer to that. So this is a verse from Daniel. The verse reads, from the time that the daily sacrifice is abolished and the abomination that causes desolation is set up, there will be 1290 days. Blessed is the one who waits for and reaches the end of the 1335 days. Rabbi Glazerson's gematria, he found by the now deceased rabbi who posted these findings, seems to indicate that the 1335 days from the book of Daniel have something to do with the year 2016. If the date 2016 is written out in Hebrew and the letters added up, and the number 1335 is also written out and added up, the same number 3382 appears. That number by itself means nothing, but to find the same number for both the year 2016 and the number of days 1335 from the book of Daniel seems to be clearly more than coincidence. The year 5000, year 5000, you see, full one. Yeah. 776. So it clearly shows that these numbers of Daniel indicates to next year. The center line of this table says the following Yavo will come be at in time of trouble. Now we have other tables which show that the time of trouble is this year. Is there 57, a lot of 75 or 2015. Yeah, five, five. This is five, yeah. Right. Exactly. This year, before the Messiah. Then who will cause his troubles? Obama. Yeah, if you see Obama, parallel. And parallel is very significant. That's in, the word Obama in, in Hebrew. Yeah, yeah, Obama. This is Obama, the word Obama. And we know quite well that in tables, in courts, parallel are very significant. Back in 2009, we had tried to do a film about the Torah codes, but funding never came until 2014. During those days, now almost six years ago, I received tables from Rabbi Glazerson as well as Dr. Rotenberg, both who are in the current Torah code film, End to Darkness. Some of the tables I received were also from Professor Haralik. In those days, most people had high hopes about Obama, after being dragged into war since 2003. But the tables I received on Obama seemed to indicate something other than what we had expected, and at the time, most people wouldn't have believed the information in them. Now they seem to make more sense. They weren't created to predict the future, only to see what information there might be in the Torah about Obama. This is the largest table. It includes the words, Barack Obama in the USA, President. It says at the top, your father Islamic, which we know is true. Then if you read right to left, like you're reading Hebrew, near the bottom, just below the words Barack and President, it says, one born in Kenya. But there's a misconception where people believe that to find information in the codes that you simply have to put in a name and it all magically appears. That's just not how it works. The professors and rabbis come up with keywords that they are curious about and see if they appear along with the access keyword or the subject of the whole table. The software doesn't simply display these things by itself. The words have to be entered and tested to see if they're in the table. One final example is the table on Netanyahu. 
Rabbi Glazerson found this table on February 9, 2015, over a month before he won the election. While the news media was telling us that the race was tight, we knew from the Torah codes that chances were high that Netanyahu would win the election, and he did by a wide margin. Rabbi Glazerson, you, you worked with me on Torah codes into darkness, and the last time we met on that film was actually in Jerusalem at the Mount Zion Hotel where you showed us some tremendous things that are in the film. But then today you came to Los Angeles and you're showing me something which is so phenomenal we just have to show it to people. And this is from a book from a rabbi that, that passed Kabbalist, away. Kabbalist, well, yeah. Kabbalist. A Kabbalist that works with gematria or the science of numbers and finding things in, in the scriptures. And what you showed me is just, it's, it's beyond coincidence, in my opinion, that all this is happening. Can you please show us the 776 number that he found? Yeah. What you see is the following. It's in Hebrew, but you have Biat HaMashiach, the coming of Messiah, Betav Shin Ayin Vav, in 776. In the past six months, all of you that are working on Torah codes have sent me some incredible tables, all pointing towards Messiah. And all of you seem to be working on that topic more than anything else right now. And uh, can you please read these individual lines to us and explain yeah. what that yeah. means? Now, the most important point is that next year is after sabbatical. Yes. And according to our tradition, the time of Messiah coming is after sabbatical. Interesting to point out that 776 are before 777. Now, mystically, seven. Number seven represents kingdom, completion. And there are three dimensions of singles, tens, and hundreds. So the number 777 represents this completion. Don't That's think about the plane. The plane 777 plane, but this number is interesting. Okay, let us see now. A lot of things are, are just kind of coming together here. Together, it's really exactly. pretty incredible. So let us see that what you see here is like following. Eloke Abraham, Eloke Yitzchak Yaakov, the Lord of Abraham, the Lord of Isaac, the Lord of Jacob, seven, seven, six. And in English, it would probably be read the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And if you add up those words, it comes to 776. Exactly. Okay. Seven, uh, seven, six. And the next one. Malchut David, David, Leolam, the kingdom of David, Leolam, to eternal, to the eternal world. The eternal. kingdom of David will what? Will be leolam the world for eternal. It will for eternal world. It will, it will be eternal. Eternal. Yeah. So in Hebrew, these are two words. Shuvu elai v'ashuvu alechem. Come back to me, then I will come back to you. Yeah. Yes. Seven seven six. Seven seven six. Then you have here lemani lemani as God said, I will do for myself. For myself, I will do. 776, 776. Wow, that's a nice one. Yeah. Then, come back to me like naughty children. The idea that God asks us to come back to him, 776. Yeah, wow. he wants us to come back. That's incredible. Again, what is written here, your kingdom of God yeah, will be ad olam forever. Ad olam forever. <laughs> Then you have here a Malchut Achrona, the last kingdom, 776. Now, what was that? Read that Maybe one in the, English again. A Malchut Achrona, the last kingdom. The last kingdom. Yeah, it means that all the, all the previous were not eternal, but yeah. this will be and a, this, So this is. Uh, and, and the most interesting numerical value, Gematria, is Biat HaMashiach, the coming of Messiah, 776. Wow. The numerical value of the Biat HaMashiach. Yeah. And what's the big one at the bottom? The, is written here, what is written? 7 R, the top shina and vav, 776. This oh, is a year. The, 7 R, the 76 is 776. And all these sentences are 776, which is the next year. So, but, okay, but it would actually be 5776. Yeah, yeah, because you see, we look. On days we took every millennia, every millennia, every sun as a separate uh, part. Right. Yeah. So therefore, so how do we know it's the fifth? No, because you see, according to our tradition, Messiah will come in this millennium, which is the sixth one. Right? Really? Yeah. 
This is why the numbers don't have the five here, because it's itself understood when you speak about Messiah, you relate to 5,000 and. Yeah, because it's six million, you see? And, yeah, this was so it, the is Vilna that a, a Kabbalistic thing, yeah, or, or is that no, it's Midrash? Kabbal- or? I see, even a matter of Kabbalistic, it is not, more Kabbalistic says. Okay. There is the Vilna Gaon. Yeah, like the Vilna Gaon says that all the indication to our history in the six million, six millennia is in the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. But, yeah, because Deuteronomy, even it is the fifth book, but we believe that the book of Genesis is divided into two parts. So basically, basically the Deuteronomy is really like a sixth book. Okay. So therefore, a lot of indications of what is going to be in the world and what really happened, you find in the book of Deuteronomy, yes. because it's the sixth millennia. To see more about the Torah codes, as well as the situation in Israel with Hamas, as well as 40 more tables, please order Torah Codes Into Darkness, now available on Amazon at intodarkness.com.